Hi everybody, I hope you are doing well, so welcome back for this new tutorial. Today we will talk about animation, more precisely about cleanup and how to clean an animation footage. Today I will show you the method I personally use, but of course this is not a rule. You don't have to follow this method precisely. Maybe you have a different method or you're working somewhere with a specific method too. This is not a problem, I will just show you how I proceed a cleanup of an animation. Any feedback on this video or on this method are surely welcome. If you have any question regarding this video or the tutorial or anything else, please feel free to ask. Before we start and I give you much more information, let's summarize the video. First, we'll talk about this important step, the line cleaning or cleanup. What is a clean artist and what is the goal of the clean? Next, I will show you the tools I use. Then we'll talk about the technique. I will also show you the process on a specific animation with the result and the comparison between the tie down and the cleanup. At last, we'll talk about a useful tip, how to change the thickness of a clean line. I really hope you will enjoy this tutorial. Let's dive in. In the animation industry, since Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs in 1937, the line we saw on the theater screen was clean. Why? Simply because the animation was done on paper and the final line was traced on a cell so the color artist could paint on the other side the color of the animated character or props. From this we understand an important point. We clean on a final animation. We do not think about animation anymore, only about the beauty of the line and the consistency between all the drawings. And it's the same today, when you clean your animation, your animation must be final. You do not think about the movement anymore, but again only about the beauty of the line and the relationship between the clean line of every drawings. Of course, it is not an obligation. Some marvelous movies like The Aristocat in 1970 kept the original line of the drawing. They transfer the tie-down animation or the final animation directly on the cell. They wanted to keep the life of the original drawing and the soul of the animation. Indeed, the clean sometimes is cold and we lose the life of the pencil on paper. But this is a matter of taste and that is not today's subject. The things you need to memorize thanks to this short intro are Line cleaning is not an obligation. You clean the line of a final animation, you do not animate anymore, you only focus on the beauty of the line and the consistency between all the drawings. Let's be honest, this is way more easy for the color artists that apply the color on your animation. Rough line can be tough. Ok, let's talk about the tools now. We are inside of TV Paint, the software I use for animation. Of course, I'm pretty sure you can apply all of these on your favorite software. The first tool I use is the brush tool. It's a simple black brush and you can see I have saved different sizes. It is important to say that the brushes react to the pen pressure. The brushes will be available on Patreon. I also have a shortcut for the brush, it's Q. Of course, you can choose another shortcut. Then, the second tool I use and the most important of this video is the line smoothing. You can open the line smoothing window in Windows, Drawings and Line Smoothing. This box is not too complex, but let's briefly talk about the settings. The first one, activate line smoothing. This turn on the line smoothing or turn it off. I have a shortcut to toggle the line smoothing because I do not use it all the time and I do not need the window to be open. Of course, you can choose the shortcut you prefer or to keep the window open. Then you have different kind of line smoothing methods. 
I will not be specific about all of these methods because I only use pull string. This is the method with the most control possible. Of course, you can choose another one if you prefer. Then, real time. If you want to see the line smoothing in real time or not. I keep this box checked because I surely want to see what I do in real time. Then, show HUD. You check that box if you want to see the pull string tool while using it. It's quite useful, I must admit I keep this check all the time too. At the end, you have the amount of smoothing. I use 40, I think it's a good balance. You can of course try more or less if you want, but for me it's perfect. I most often clean my drawings on a 2K or 4K resolution and this honestly gives me a lot of control. Again, please try different settings, these are mine, it's not an obligation to use them, I just want to be truly specific about the tools I use. And when I draw with the brush, with the lines within turned off, this is the result I have. When I draw with the brush with the line smoothing turned on, this is the result I have. As you can see, I have a lot of control because there is an offset between the origin of my brush and the final line. I can create beautiful lines with a lot of control. This will maybe be tough to control for you at the beginning, but not to worry. With a little bit of experience, this will become easier. Of course, you can always use command Z and redo the line you're working on. You will see later, I often do it while working. At last, I like to flip between my drawings. In Windows, Animation, Flips, you can set the setting you like to flip your animation. The flip helps to control the movement between your drawings, but also to double check the consistency between the volumes. This is one of the most important techniques of the animation process. I would recommend to flip all the time. And myself, I really like to flip horizontally between the instances. I also have a shortcut on my stylus to flip all the time, quite handy to be honest. It is useful to flip between the instances, because when you clean the line, you create a new layer on top and you will start with a blank instance. Then you will continue with another one. And of course, you want to flip between these new instances only. Not to worry if it's too confusing, I will be more specific in the next part. Let's continue with the method. As you can see, I have the layer of my tie-down. The tie-down is the most advanced step of the animation process. The animation is approved and the volumes and character design are consistent. Also, something you need to consider, the cleaner your drawing is, the easier the cleaner artist will be able to clean the line, but also the better he or she will keep the soul of the original drawing and animation. You can see on my tie-down layer, I have different colors. Red and green image marks are my key drawings or the key poses. The green drawings are used for the follow-through. Orange instances are the breakdowns. I only have one breakdown between my key poses, but of course you can have many more. Yellow drawings are in-betweens and they are in-betweens the red and orange image marks. So between the key poses and the breakdowns. The instances without any color are also in between. They are in between all the instances. I can have one, like in this specific animation, but I can also have more of them. This color chart replaces the traditional animation chart. Thanks to the colors, we can see how the instances are spread on the timeline. It is surely not an obligation, but this is the method I like to use. As a side note, if you have a drawing or a part of a drawing that is not straight on the middle between two drawings, but on the third of the distance between these two drawings, I draw a triangle on a specific frame. And if needed, I give more information about the part that is on the third. For the clean, I will simply create a new layer on top of the tie down. If you want, you can name the layer to be organize. And then I change the opacity of the tie-down for something like 6%. 
This of course depends on your screen, but on mine this is quite perfect. Then I start to clean the drawings using the brush with the line smoothing turned on. Later, when I will have more drawings, I can flip between all of these to check if the proportions and the line are consistent. At last, a nice tip, I have a shortcut to hide or to show the layer I am working on. It's W and X. So when I clean, I can always check the layer I have below to see if I do not lose too much of the original soul of the drawing. I will first start to clean the key poses, then the breakdowns and then the in-betweens and the more precise in-betweens at the end. This gives me a lot of control on the consistency of my drawings. It is really important to process in this order because if you start with the first instance, then the second, the line will shake between all of your drawings. If you work on the key poses, then the breakdown, then the in-betweens, the in-between drawings will be the perfect in-between and this will connect all of your animation. The in-betweens travel between the key poses, they are the connective tissue if you prefer. Work on them when your key poses and breakdowns are the best they can be. This is everything I can share with you on that subject, I will show you my cleaning method in application. First of all, I create a new layer to work on the cleanup. Then, I change the opacity of my tie down for something around 6%. I take my brush and I turn on the line smoothing. I am now quite ready to work on the cleanup. I've changed the speed of the cleanup process because each frame took me almost 20 minutes. The whole clean session took me a while but it was worth it. I honestly prefer the clean result and this will be easier for Lucy, my super girlfriend, when she will work on the colors of the character. As I told you, I will start to work on all the key poses at first. Then I will create the breakdowns and finish with the in-betweens. It's very important for me to flip between the instances to control the consistency between all the drawings. At the moment, I'm only working on one single drawing, so I do not have to flip. But later, the more drawings I will have, the more I will have to flip between all of them. I also draw as much as I can using the pull string, but sometimes for very precise parts, I turn it off. That is why it's quite useful to have a shortcut. Also, just to remind it to you, I use the pull string to have a consistency between all the lines of all the drawings. When I do not use it, the line is checky, and I do not want that result for this specific animation. You can also clean your animation with handmade line, this is of course a matter of taste. Sometimes I'm not happy with the result of the line I just drew, and this is not a problem. I just use command Z, then I redo it as many times as I need to have the result I want to have. Of course, it's a slow process. I know on Close, the animated feature-length movie of Sergio Pablo's animation, cleanup artists did 14 clean drawings a day. This gives you an idea. The character I am working on is not too complex and the proportions on the screen are alright, but again, this is a long process. I will not show you all the frames because it took me a few hours, but you have an idea of the process. Again, I started with the key poses, I continue with the breakdowns, and I finished with the in-betweens. Key poses are very important, all of the other drawings depend on these. If I run the result of the key poses, you can see at the moment it's not animated, but I compare the four drawings and I see the relationship between all the proportions. At the moment I'm quite happy with that, so I will move with the breakdowns. I continue to work on the two breakdowns. Again, I took my time to do them well. Also, something important to think about, if needed, you can correct the key poses thanks to the breakdown. Sometimes the more drawing you have, the more mistakes you discover. It is not a problem, you can come back on these key poses and fix the mistake like the shape of an eye, the size of the finger, or anything else. At the end, I added all the in-betweens. 
There are more drawing here, but because the key poses and the breakdowns were quite correct, it was faster for me to do them all. After a while, the close drawings are between each other, the most you can use the light table to draw them correctly. Even if you have the tie down below, it is quite handy to use the light table to trace the perfect in between. Again, I was really happy of the result of the cleanup. You can compare the tie down on the left and the cleanup version on the right. If you project this on a feeder screen, the cleanup line will give you a better visibility, and I prefer to have this, to be honest. Also, when the color artists apply the colors, because the line is clean, it is easier to fill it. But again, this is a matter of taste and artistic direction. This is my method, and this is far from being a rule. I want to share another tip with you. Sometimes you want to increase the line of your animation or to reduce it. It is not recommended, but of course this is possible. First, we need to uncheck these two boxes on the left of the layer to not create any new instances because we want to apply this future effect to the existing instances. Then go to Windows, FX Tools, FX Tax. The FX tax window is now open. Then go to Add FX, Stylize and Erode. Presently it is too extreme, but for you to understand, the higher I am, like 2, the most I remove of the line. That is why we presently do not see the line anymore. The lower I am, the thicker the line will be. So first, let's try 1.1. Let's uncheck Erode, and we can see the line is now thinner. Then, choose 0.4, uncheck the box, the line is now thicker. You can now select your wall animation, and then you can apply it to the wall instances. It is sometimes a little bit long to process, but the result is great. This is another great feature of TV Paint. Of course, you will need to play with the values of the width and 8, because all the animations are different. The line is presently too thick, but it shows you how you can manage to change the scale of a line. Something to mention, here it works correctly, because the line is clean and consistent. This will not work on a dirty line, but this can maybe give you some ideas, I don't know. If you have any question regarding this tip, please let me know. So this is the end of the tutorial. I really hope it was interesting and hopefully you learned some piece of information. Again, this is my method. This is not a rule. If you have a different technique, that is not a problem. We can share, of course, on that subject. Again, any feedback on this video or any recommendation are welcome. Of course, if you have any question regarding the tutorial, I will be super happy to answer them. Thank you very much for your time and your support. See you in the next one. Bye bye.